You're watching News 10 ABC at 9 a.m. Welcome back, everyone. As we continue our deep dive into dry January, we're sharing one local woman's inspiring story of sobriety. She has changed the course of her entire life, and now she's hoping to help others as a local business owner right here in the Capital Region. Take a look. Lifting weights and lifting spirits. Heather Matthews is one seriously strong mom and businesswoman. Looking at her newly opened gym, HLM Fitness, Heather can't believe she's living her dream. How, how is this even happening? How is this the same person, the same life 10 years ago when I thought, I really thought it was all over? 10 years ago, Heather was stuck in a life of alcoholism and addiction. I actually tried to commit suicide. Um, because I couldn't picture myself living without alcohol. After going to rehab five times and her parents cutting her off, Heather wanted to give up. But she says hitting rock bottom actually forced her to transform her life. I have to change who I hang out with. I have to change everything, right? So I was like, who doesn't drink or do drugs? People in the gym. Heather signed up for a fitness competition. Having never lifted a dumbbell in her life, she began training and it did so much more than just change her body. It got me sober, it changed my life, and most importantly, it built my confidence. And knew she had to share that feeling with other women. Now, she's created a female-only space to make it happen, providing coaching and group classes. So I hope people know that if they are struggling and they think that there's no way out, there is a way out, you know, and, and I found it through fitness, but you can change your life. You can change your life. Those words, they really stuck with me, and I know they stuck with a lot of people, Heather. We had such a great response. We aired your story all the way back in April of last year, mm -hmm. and it really touched many lives. Thanks for joining us again today. Thank you so much for having me here. So HLM Fitness, your business that opened up in Latham, how's it going? It's going so good. We specialize in women's fitness. We just hired a new trainer, she's amazing, and we just started doing classes on Saturday mornings and they're filling up fast. So everything's good, excited about the new year. And for people at home, if they want to get involved, I mean, you're in incredible shape, but you're also Thank just you. so inspiring, I know, to so Thank many you. women. So what are you offering to them right now? So it's one-on-one -on -one personal training during the week, and then on Saturday mornings, we do an 8 a.m. and a 9 a.m. We call it semi-private group training. It's a small class of eight people max, and um, you sign up every week. There's no contract, and that way we can specialize. Um, we can really tailor everything to each client, but it's for a you know it's less expensive than a mm -hmm. personal training session. So. We're able to kind of get more people in this way and um, yeah, it's going really well. You said something to me too in that story that this was your dream kind of come true, your dream it really realized. Was. Does yeah. it still feel that way? It's amazing. I mean, I pinch myself every day. It's amazing how things worked out and I'll tell you if I had never put in the work and kept failing and failing and trying again and trying again and getting sober, I would have none of this right now. So, you know. And we're here in dry January right now. Yes. And for some people, maybe this is a temporary month where they want to stop alcohol. Mm -hmm. But there are so many studies that show kicking alcohol altogether forever, it really can benefit. It can benefit your mental health, but also yes. your physical health, everything oh, yeah. about your body. Absolutely. Yep. It all kind of comes together. Being healthy is not just exercise. It's eating clean, whole foods, getting your water in, kicking alcohol, Alcohol is poison. It does nothing good for your body. It does nothing good for your mental health. And basically, when you're taking a sip of alcohol, you're saying, bring on depression, bring on anxiety, weight gain. You know what I mean? It's just, it's all, it's all that. So when you're going to be healthy, it, you have to kick the alcohol, tobacco, anything that's poisonous to your body, refined sugars, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> and in the new year, there are most people out there right now, their resolution is to get healthier. Right. So on top of cutting the alcohol, what is another suggestion you have for people at home who are maybe just kicking off that fitness journey? It's so hard to get started. It is. That's the hardest part. Once you get started, the motivation comes afterwards. Motivation doesn't start and then you get started. You have to force yourself to kind of make those first steps. And then all of a sudden you see a little bit of results coming through and your motivation comes through and it kind of snowballs. So it's awesome. You just have to start getting started is the hardest part. But also keep in mind, 
it's being healthy is very basic. You don't have to do, you know, all the diet fads mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It's just eat clean, whole foods. We say at um, my gym, if it comes from the ground or if it has a mom, you can eat it. <laughs> so, you know, chicken, meat, um, vegetables, proteins, fruits, fruit, um, nuts, seeds, all that stuff. Um, so it's basic, clean, whole foods. Get in a ton of water every day. Move a little bit. You don't have to do an hour long workout every day. Right. You know what I mean? Just move for 30 minutes. Just do a little something every day. Right. And it'll keep yep. growing over time. Exactly. Yeah. And the last thing I want to leave people with, you said you had to hit rock bottom before you could start your journey. Absolutely. For people out there at home who maybe feel like they're at their rock bottom, what would mm -hmm. you tell them right now? I would tell them to not give up hope because that you can always make a change to your life. It doesn't matter where you're at right now, how deep you're into it, what your age is. Just get started, that's all you have to do. Take baby steps, get started, and the rest will come. It'll all come. It will, yep, it Little will. Little increments, that's it. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us Thank today, you Heather. for having me. Really appreciate it. Thank you. HLM Fitness, by the way, in Latham, you can look it up online. If you do wanna reach out to Heather, go to one of her group classes.